is up everybody welcome to the lobby welcome to the live stream thank you all for coming through showing the love and support here on the channel of course uh we got a lot of things to talk about today on the wednesday's house of techniques if you've been checking out Kaba, he's been posting up a lot of uh information in regards to dragon ball spark and zero and such of course um if you guys also follow slow plays he's also been posting a lot of uh different uh content for dragon ball sparking zero every little thing that comes out he basically reposting here we are i'm gonna go over to endokuba's page really quickly and i want to go ahead and show you guys something here slow play uh went over to sparking zero's uh playstation support and on the playstation support um here apparently they're saying that they're supposed to be uh support up to one or two players locally um this is this is monumental if that is the case if that is the case this is monumental only because gaming developers stated that this was not going to be a k the case for dragon ball spark and zero that dragon ball spark and zero was not going to come with a local multiplayer or that it was not going to be an aspect that they were going to focus on at the very beginning of the lifespan of the game engine based off the graphics based off the things that they were trying to achieve as far as we know now slow play is stating that this is being added if you look at the menu here and you see it carefully where it says online play is optional which means that you can play local local player that does not necessarily mean you can play one versus the other it just means that you can play offline you don't have to have online to enjoy the online experience um but this right here is what it means one or two players locally this th that's what this means now supports up to two online players with ps plus so if you have playstation plus that means that you can play online with, with, with playstation plus player now we go over to endo kuba and of course here if you watch this it'll tell you here compatibility notice playstation plus requires supports up to two online players with ps plus but uh vibration functions and then local two players so um offline local multiplayer has been officially confirmed for dragon ball sparking zero and this is huge news this is huge news which only because of the simple fact that for those who are going to be running tournament like me we want the best and the most stable uh service possible and no frames is the best frames basically what that means is that um if you have local offline you can run local offline tournaments without having to worry about having two pcs or two gaming systems in the same place in order for you to be able to play the next person or whatever the case might be and you don't have to deal with the online experience perfect 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 so what does this confirm what this confirms is the following what this confirms is that the developers are considering the pvp aspect of the game which something that i never thought i was going to say i'm going to say it here dragon ball sparking zero may be may be may be may be may be and this is a hard maybe maybe an actual actual 3d balanced fighting game with how many characters is coming with they may actually be looking to nerf and balance and and do a lot of different things in the game that we've never gotten with a budokai before or a tenkaichi series or anything like that like not even raging blast 2 and even though Rage of Blast 2 was in the PS3 era, you gotta understand they were already releasing patches to fix certain things for certain games at that point. You understand what I'm saying? We never got in that. So that's that's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. And honestly, like to sit here, think about it. This is something that I just never would have thought it would have came out of my mouth that i would have just said oh this 3d battle arena game is actually being considered for things like tournaments for things like locals for things like balances that word with dragon ball dragon ball fighters 
that's about it. Any other game that, 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 that you've talked about balance, including Xenoverse, no such thing. Some way, somehow, some way, some someone will find a way to fucking break it. Do you understand the level that this is going to if they're just including local multiplayer? I believe that everything that we are going to lead up to may be something big in that sense of like they are really trying to push this as the premier 3d fighting game for anime video games slash dragon ball gaming for the next four to five years easy um i can easily see this being pushed for the next four to five years uh without them dropping sparking zero two or anything like that of the sort because i can see them balancing it i can see them having a local tournament at you know ceo otaku and combo breaker or even at evo next year or some shit like that you see what i'm saying all of that all of that all of that is huge that is huge and you know what i i, I give it to the community for the community voicing it we we de definitely did that we kept coming out we kept talking we kept asking we wanted this and um we got it we we got it and i'm hoping that um this isn't a hoax i'm hoping that this isn't just uh false information because playstation you know just posts up the information like this you know so on so forth those are just my hopes but um ultimately ultimately tenkaichi's back and i'm so fucking excited oh my god i'm so fucking excited so uh yeah that's where i'm gonna leave that video at i hope you guys uh enjoy this video and this kind of content if you did y'all already know what to do hit the sub hit the like hit the share on this youtube video and continue coming through for more techniques fgc content of course where we talk about dragon ball sparking zero we talk about fgc content and we do much more here so holla at your boy and i'll catch you guys in the next one Boom.